When I'm riding through your hood, east side be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with that? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T. And back with another video, man. And today, we gonna be talking about how words are mighty. Mightier than a sword. Alright, so look, man. Be careful what you wish for. I'm pretty sure we all have heard it before. But we probably don't know where it traces back to. You see, the saying stems from a Aesop's fable. Or as some people may pronounce it, Aesop's fable. And the Aesop's fable is actually a collection of fables credited to a guy named Aesop. And he is a Greek storyteller who we have to clap it up for right now for that popular saying. He died in 564 BC within his homeland of Greece. Now, we must hop in the time machine and go all the way from 564 BC up until 2021 you see i'm a hip-hop media outlet i covered uh rappers now i think three years or maybe going over three years and uh unfortunately i've had to talk about a lot of rappers who they have lost their lives let's just say that some rappers i didn't know very well some rappers i was truly big fans of and besides rapping the one common denominator that I noticed a lot of them having is this you have to be careful what you wish for because words mean things once you put them in the universe you gave it power that's just me my personal belief system I'm sure some of you guys think differently and that's okay calm down and you see this is the thing i hate when people say this person predicted their death that person predicted their death it's like they are rappers you know how many rappers have rapped about themselves dying i mean it's obvious if they die if you go back to their catalog if you try hard enough, you can convince yourself, hey, they predicted their death. Which they don't even be the case. What actually happens is they just got caught at the wrong place at the wrong time. And they just happen to rap about lyrics of them dying. I mean, it just be a coincidence. But in certain situations, you know, it makes you raise an eyebrow or two and that's what we're going to talk about today all right so boom now Lil snoop rap out of jonesboro louisiana if i'm not mistaken he died at the age of 18 uh back in 2013 but nonetheless he was allegedly murdered by a friend and uh, his friend allegedly murdered him over a game. They were playing a video game. He got mad at Snoop for winning or something like that. I don't know the specifics. Hey, you know and it ended little Snoop losing his life. Now, also in 2013, Lil Snoop had a song called Lost It All. And this song featured... Uh, uh, badass ENT artist money bag in the end of chorus uh, it says I lost it all on the dice game went to court I can't even pay the white man and of course the chorus goes on from there but uh the section we're looking at is when he said he lost it all on a dice game now he didn't necessarily lose his life over a dice game uh but as it's allegedly said, it was over a video game. 
And that's a pretty uh, coincidental thing there, don't you think? But see, in Little Snoop's verse, he actually says, My main nigga a killer. Hope he don't flash and wet me up. My main nigga a hitter. Hope he don't flash and wet me up. And again, it's just a bit eerie how uh, his friend is allegedly the one who murdered him over a game. As I stated in the monologue, rappers rap about dying all, all of the time, so everything can't be a prediction. But certain things make you raise an eyebrow too, and uh, this was definitely one of those moments for me. Long little, little Snoop. Now, Tupac Shakur, uh, considered to be one of the greatest of all time. He met his demise uh, at the age of 25, back in 1996, uh, from a drive-by shooter in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, following his death, well, some people would like to say uh, posthumous. Is that how you pronounce it? Posthumous, like people albums at the death. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The song was released after Tupac's death. It was released in uh, 2003. In this particular song I'm speaking of, the title is Ghost. And in this song, Tupac quote unquote dies and he turns into a ghost. And in the beginning of the song, it's pretty eerie itself because uh, in the intro, he's just talking. But it's almost in a uh, demonic voice. You know, like when you uh, slow down the speed of audio to make it slower. You know what? A lot of y'all from Texas. So how about this? Chopped and screwed. <laughs> Chopped and screwed. That'll work. Think of that voice. That's the voice that he's using at the beginning of this uh, song. But he's just saying things how when he die, he's still going to be a problem. Do y'all believe in ghosts? Things like that. I don't know. It's creepy. The song is amazing, though. Go check it out if you haven't. But to get to the grit of it, uh, I think in his second verse, Tupac actually rapped what happened to him in real life. Like, uh, he was at a red light. Car pulled up beside him. And it was a very specific car. He said a seven deuce. And if y'all not familiar with that on the West Coast, you know how they eat into cars and lowriders and all of that. But it could be any type of old school car. And uh, in this situation, in real life, it was an old school Cadillac that pulled up beside Tupac Shakur and murdered him. But back to the song. In this song, he said a seven deuce pulled up alongside of him and just started spraying. He was saying how the people's faces look familiar, how you recognize everybody that's going to kill you. You know, it, it, it's real, it's really weird, bro. Like how detailed some of these murders are. And they co aligns with the lyric. So specifically. Like I understand coincidences happen and things like that. But when you look at the little Snoop, and now you're looking at this Tupac situation, it's like almost identical to their death. It's not just a rapper saying, one day I'm going to die. It's like very descriptive i'm gonna die this way and that's the way they're dying and here's the uh, last photo ever uh photograph of tupac shakur while he was living this was of uh, approximately what 15 20 minutes before he died in 1996 before the old school cadillac pulled alongside of him and shug knight and uh let off several rounds that uh ultimately Unfortunately, he left Tupac dead. And like I said, seven years later, a uh, song was released titled Ghost. Rest in peace, Tupac. Now, I think this might be the last uh, rapper that I discuss for this video here. I might make a part two if y'all want a part two. But I'm going to end it off with Mo 3. And this is probably the most recent addition to these uh, rappers who... Uh, Strangely enough, seem to rap about their demise. Now, personally, one of my favorite rappers, uh, Mo3, uh, 
he met his demise in 2020, 11 11 of 2020. So there's November 11, 2020, uh, Mo 3 was gunned down in Dallas, Texas. So that means November 10th, uh, Mo 3 was at a, a friend's house. He spent the night over her house. And the next morning, uh, he was allegedly followed down, tracked down from her house onto a, a, a highway near the Dallas Zoo. And there's where uh, gunmen let off fire uh, at the Dallas Rap. Now, one year prior to his demise, Mo3 went viral uh, for people thinking that he got shot because he went on Instagram saying that he got shot, but it actually turned out to be for a video shoot for his song, Why? And if that's not enough for you, uh, let's take it back to uh, October 2017. Uh, he dropped a video titled True Story. Very popular song, uh, has over 15 million views now. And at the beginning of this video, he's laying on a stretcher, like in the morgue. And the mortician is talking on the phone, uh, and we can hear a conversation. And what she's conversing with the person over the phone about is Mo3. How he's a Dallas rapper who got shot in the head and he died in his own city. Like, that is what she's saying. And, uh, again, if we, uh, fast forward back to 2020, uh, November 11th of 2020, as I told you before, Mo3's demise was eerily uh, similar to that, to that music video, how he uh, died in Dallas and things of that nature. But he has a more uh, popular song here that came out more recently on his uh, latest album, Shots Is Forever. And the song is titled Money Maya. And in this song, he's uh, stating how a girl he was dealing with, who's he, who he's calling Money Maya, quote unquote, helps him set up his ops. And when her baby daddy found out that she was helping Mo3 set up his op, he got mad at it. He got mad at the relationship when he found out that she was messing with three. Now here in real life, this is not a song anymore, this is in real life now. So, the girl I was telling you about earlier, where Mo3 stayed at her house the night before he was murdered, she had a baby daddy. Just like in the song Money Maya, she as well had a baby daddy. And uh, it turns out that, uh, the baby daddy is in custody right now over the death of Mo3. And TMZ and other sources also released statements saying that uh, the reason behind this allegedly was because he was jealous of the relationship that Mo3 had with his baby mom. Now again, I understand coincidences happen and I'm not saying this can't be a coincidence any of these situations. Or scenarios, I should say. But nigga, this shit is strange. I can't even lie. Lil Snoop. He allegedly died over a video game. And he was murdered by his friend. And in that song, he died over a dice game. And he was rapping about how he hoped his friend don't turn on him and kill him. And that's what happened. Tupac. The last picture ever taken of him while he was living was when he was in that BMW with Suge Knight. He rapped in a song how a car came alongside of him at a red light, just like in real life, and just started letting off shot, just like in real life. And he eventually turned into a ghost, just like in real life. Mo3 was laying on a stretcher. The lady was saying he was shot in Dallas. Mo3 rapping about how this girl, baby daddy, 
salty as hell that she rocking with him. And now in real life, somebody's baby daddy is really in custody. Or allegedly being salty that Mo3 was rocking with his baby mom. But I'm going to leave it right here though, man. I don't want to make the video too long. If you want a part two, uh, let me know. Because this one right here was pretty much an update of an older video I did maybe two years ago. But I'm pretty sure you guys never seen it before. But I can make a part two of this with uh, three other rappers who unfortunately met their demise. And uh, we could get down to it. Long Lil Mo 3. But anyway, man. How y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man. Follow me on Instagram. At TZFBaby. 252. And again, like I said, coincidences does happen. But hopefully you guys at least start to think a little more before speaking some certain things. You get what I'm saying? Because if you keep just speaking it and speaking it, eventually it's going to become reality. That's just the thing about it. Be careful what you wish for. And ironically enough, I just thought about it. The three artists that I just made this video about, uh, Tupac, Lil Snoop, MO3. They all are kind of uh tied into one another. Uh let's, let's just put it like this. Lil Snoop and Mo3. They went to school together. Uh Lil Snoop mom came out and said it herself. They were friends. They went to school in uh Texas together. Lil Snoop used to spend the night over Mo3 house and all of that. Now this Tupac song I spoke about, titled Ghost. It was released November 11th of 2003. And ironically enough, Mo3 uh, met his demise November 11th. Like, it's just, it's just strange. Like, I just thought about that myself. It's just, this whole video is just weird. I mean, y'all might not get a point to it. This ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Where don't go? Prolific. Hey. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.